Welcome. Good evening, everyone. I'm just going to get started. I would like to welcome you to the 2022 Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll Induction Night. It's so nice to see you here, and it's nice to see the rain has stopped. I'm Shelley Ware, and I'm going to be your Master of Ceremonies this evening. And I would like to start by acknowledging the Wurundjeri people, the traditional owners of the land where we are gathered this evening, and pay my respects to Elders past and present and other Aboriginal elders and community members here with us tonight. I would like to also make welcome some special guests we have here with us tonight. Senator Yana Stewart, Parliamentarian Secretary for First Peoples, Christine Cousins MP, Sheena Watt MP, mem Member for Northern Metropolitan, Mina Singh, Commissioner for Aboriginal Children and y Young People, Deputy Chair, Yuruk Justice Commission, Sue Ann Hunter, co-chair of the First People's Assembly of Victoria, Marcus Stewart, CEOs and chairs of Aboriginal organisations, Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll inductees, past and present and their families, and all other distinguished guests, and of course, your beautiful selves, who I didn't mention. <laughs> <laughs> so before we continue with the evening's proceedings, I would like to invite Daniel Ross, to welcome us to country. Daniel Ross is a Wurundjeri traditional owner of the Kulin Nation people. And can we please join me in welcoming Daniel Ross.
Hello, everyone. My name is Daniel Ross, and I'm a proud Wurundjeri man. It's always nerve-wracking when I have to do a welcome in front of community. <laughs> I don't have to take you on the journey that I normally take other fellas and talk about Uncle Barrick and Simon Wonga and some of the atrocities that have taken place. But I got a phone call yesterday, and they were panicking because Arnie Joy wasn't able to make it. What a set of shoes I have to fill. <laughs> I'm one of the Nevin family, and I've taken over from my grandfather, an elder, Uncle Ron Jones. Again, another fellow that talked most of the legs off these chairs here. With great pleasure, I'd love to welcome you to my ancestors' home, my home, Nam. I don't need to talk about the Birrarung how our fellas are still sitting in boxes at the museum and not on country. It's quite challenging to know that we still look around and we've got fantastic infrastructure projects like North East Link about to rip through sacred places. But the achievements and legacies left behind by everybody who's inducted and those that are still to be inducted, hopefully one day I'll leave a legacy as rich just as our old people have. I'd like to acknowledge my ancestors, my elders, and I'd like to extend those respects to everybody here and acknowledge your ancestors and elders. We meet on the traditional lands of my ancestors, a wonderful country, and one that continues to grow. And Bundjal set out our laws at the beginning of time. He taught us how to care for country. Caring for country isn't throwing grass seed out and watering it mowing it every Sunday, but reading the stars, the waterways, the plants, the animals, and understanding one another, true essence to our culture, not just here on Wurundjeri country, but across, across our great nation. I'd like to welcome you all to the traditional lands of my ancestors, my home. Wurundjeri, Wurundjika Wurundjeri Bullock, Yemen Gunibek. In Wurundjeri, I just said, welcome to the traditional lands of the Wurundjeri people. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. You did a beautiful job. And thank you for welcoming us so warmly to your country. So this year we have lost several well-respected and prominent elders and community members and their impact and their loss has been profound. I would like to invite you to join me in a moment's silence to acknowledge this passing and sorry business. So you can either close your eyes or nod your head. Thank you. Oh, you can be outstanding. A lot of people do like to stand. So if you'd like to stand up, that would be beautiful. Thank you. Their loss will be felt for generations and their impact will be felt for generations. And we thank them and we send our love to family members and close loved ones who are feeling the impact more profoundly than others. So the Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll formally recognises the outstanding achievements of Aboriginal people past and present. We're building an impressive list of inductees since 2011 with an induction of 130 Aboriginal people. Tonight we honour nine individuals and pay tribute to them and celebrate the enormous impact their actions have had on the lives of many. All in all, this is one incredibly inspiring group of people. 
I would like to acknowledge all inductees who are no longer with us. We pay our respects to their families and communities with whom their legacy lives on. Our first group of presentations will commence shortly after the entree. As you can all see, it's heading out here. So a few housekeeping points to note. The bathrooms are to the side of the foyer near the entrance, or your Jilawa. So please note that photos will be taken this evening. If you would not like your photo taken, can you please let the photographer know? John, he's just over here to my left. You need to speak to him directly, please. The presentations and entertainment on the stage. Shh. The presentation and entertainment on the stage this evening will be live streamed, so any family or friends who could not be here tonight, they can watch from home, and the link is on the First Peoples State Relations Facebook page. So while you enjoy your entree, we will have a lovely performance from Maddie Walker. Maddie Walker, shh, I don't know if you realise, but some of you are talking in full voice. <laughs> Not whispering at all. <laughs> I can hear your conversations. <laughs> so, so while you enjoy your entree, we will have a lovely performance from Maddie Walker. Maddie Walker is a proud Yorta Yorta woman and an inspiring musician. Maddie's first performance at the Country Music Association of Australia's Junior Academy in 2017 was the beginning of many performances at high profile events and festivals. During her time in the music industry, Maddie has had the opportunity to support many well-known artists such as Isaiah Firebrace, Benny Walker, Uncle Kutcher Edwards and the late great Uncle Archie Roach. Can you please join us in welcoming Maddie to the stage? Check. Hey, Mob, how you doing? You good? Good? Yeah, that's what I like to hear. So, as you may have heard, my name is Maddie Colville Walker. I'm a very proud Yoda Yoda Winya, Winya meaning woman in Yoda Yoda language. Um, such an honour to be here this evening. And before I share some stories with you all, I'd just like to acknowledge and pay respects to the traditional custodians and also extend that acknowledgement out to each and every single one of you here. I'm going to start off with an old country number. <laughs> This is How's the World Treating You by Chet Atkins. And this song's pretty special to me because this is my grandfather's favourite song. Um, my grandfather was Archie Walker and I'm, I'm the youngest grandchild of, um, yeah, from his descendant. And yeah, this song's just very special. Um, and Pop's, Pop's no longer here with us anymore, but... Um, this song really connects me to him. So I feel like he's standing with me on stage somewhere, no doubt. So how's the world treating you? Hope you enjoy. Every 
day you're away Though our pathways have parted To your memory I'm true Guess I'll stay broken hearted How's the world treating you? Do you wonder about me like I'm hoping you do? Are you lonesome without me? Have you found someone new? This next song is an original. This is called Yinya Molana Winya, which translates from English to, from Yoda Yoda to English, into Free Spirit Woman. I wrote this song about my connection to Yoda Yoda Waka. Um, I've lived on Yoda Yoda Waka all my life, and I still live there. Um, and right now, country's country's gone a bit crazy. <laughs> So I'm dedicating this song to country, to home. But this song's also really special to me because it... <laughs> the, for the past couple of years, I have had a huge honour in working alongside the late Uncle Archie Roach and his foundation and myself and so many other deadly artists are curating a album called Singing Our Futures. Hopefully that'll be released very soon. Um, but this is a, one of the songs that's gonna be featured on that album. This is Free Spirit Woman, hope you enjoy. He spoke softly to me, fill the earth beneath your feet And dance slowly with the breeze Fill your lungs with the air, your thoughts can disappear Close your eyes and you'll see have you traveled many moons to find the ones who speak to you? Have you ever stopped to listen to the winds? Oh, she's up amongst the trees and oh, she's watching you, my friend. Free spirit woman calls again. Fill your lungs with the air 
Your thoughts can disappear Close your eyes and just see Have you traveled many moons To find the ones who speak to you? Have you ever stopped to listen to the wind? Oh, she's up amongst the trees And oh, she's watching you, my friend Free spirit woman calls again I know Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know Thank you. <laughs> this next song is by Finn Groover. This is back to you. Hope you enjoy. I'm still running back to you Sometimes I make you hate me I don't mean to test your patience Never meant to let you down Just give me your love and let me hold you down Every day, every night, every hour Doesn't seem to be enough Love and hate just fluctuate Just give me the words and what you're trying to say You say you want me to leave Then you go and call me right back don't understand how you do me like that I'm still running back to you I just can't understand Why I keep running back Oh, it feels like an old school love song When you say my name When you say my name You say you want me to leave Then you go and call me right back I don't understand How you do me like that I'm still running back to you I just can't understand Why I keep running back I don't know why I keep running back You say you want me to leave Then you go and call me right back How I don't understand how you do me like that I'm still running back to you I just can't understand Thank you. 
Merci. All right, I've got one more song for this. Little set. I'm going to finish off with some Chris Isaac. This is Wicked Game. Hope you enjoy. Nobody 
Thank you. I hope you all enjoyed your entrees. Can we please give Maddie a big round of applause? Okay, I, I would now like to introduce the Parliamentarian Secretary for First Peoples, Christine Cousins, MP, up to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, Shelley. Can I begin by acknowledging the original owners of this land, the Wurundjeri people, and pay my respects to Elders past, present and future, and also acknowledge all um, Elders here tonight. Can I also acknowledge Senator Jana Stewart, uh, my good friend and colleague Sheena Watt, Member of Parla State Parliament, past Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll inductees and the 2022 Honour Roll inductees who will be announced tonight. Uh, Manina Singh, Commissioner for Aboriginal Children and Young People, Honour Roll Advisory Panel members, First Peoples Assembly of Victoria Co-Chair Marcus Stewart, Yuruk Justice Commissioner, Commission, Commissioner D Deputy Chair Sue Ann Hunter, CEO of Victorian Aboriginal Community Controlled Organisations, and all community members who are attending this evening, and all people at home watching this event via the live stream. Can I also send best wishes from Minister Williams, who's home with her new baby. Before I get too far into my speech, I would like to acknowledge that there has been a, a lot of sorry business in the community, including the past honour roll inductee, Uncle Archie Roach. I pay my deepest respects and condolences to those who have lost loved ones and community leaders recently. I also acknowledge communities in parts of the state that are impacted by the floods. My thoughts are with you all. I'm delighted to be here tonight for the 11th Honour Roll event to induct nine distinguished Aboriginal leaders to the Honour Roll, joining the previous 130 inductees. Tonight, we celebrate the legacies and significant contributions they have made to the community. The impact of their work and community involvement is diverse and covers the arts, education, justice, land rights, sports, health and wellbeing sectors, and support for children, young people and families. This event is an opportunity to showcase their hard work, strength and determined spirit in bringing about positive change. The Honour Roll celebrates the diverse achievements and contributions Aboriginal people have made to their communities and to the state of Victoria. The Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll is the only one of its kind in Australia. It was first established in 2011 to acknowledge and record the unique contributions and histories of Aboriginal Victorians. It has since grown to become so much more. Each year we are presented with new stories of strong and inspiring Aboriginal people who are change makers and exemplary leaders. In their communities and in their fields, the inductees have created significant change which will live on for generations. They have fought for Aboriginal self-determination and for Aboriginal Victorians to have a central role in shaping the decisions that affect them. This can be seen in the policies and legislative changes that have resulted from their advocacy, in particular Victoria's nation-leading treaty processes and the Uruk Justice Commission, as well as in, in the growing strength of the Aboriginal organisations they have established, led and supported. The inductees are also storytellers, helping others to connect and reconnect with the oldest living cultures in the world. 
They share culture through art and storytelling, by opening up their homes to children and youth, and by organising public celebrations and commemorations. They are committed to truth and to helping the broader community understand and embrace the shared history of Victoria. The collective impact of their advocacy over the decades and centuries has left a profound impact on our state now and into the future. It is an honour to stand in the presence of the inductees and their families as we hear their stories of courage, resilience and passion for the work that they do. Tonight, the new inductees or their family representatives will be presented with a replica of a traditional shield, a melgar for men, and a traditional wooden dish, a tanuk for women, as a memento of their induction. These beautiful artefacts have been crafted by celebrated Tangarang artist Mick Harding. Mick is also the designer of the honour roll artwork you see around you. He is also a former member of Victorian Aboriginal Heritage Council and a former co-chair of the Aboriginal Treaty Working Group. The stories of tonight's inductees will also be added to the beautiful Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll book, which is on display at Parliament House for all to view. Reading their biographies is moving and the enormous contributions that they have made since, since shine through. As we come together to honour their achievements, I encourage you to take the time to read the individual stories contained in the honour roll booklet you will receive as you leave the venue tonight. The stories of this year's inductees demonstrates the richness and diversity of Aboriginal Victorians' histories, achievements and cultures. Through the Aboriginal role, stories detailing the incredible resilience of Aboriginal peoples and the remarkable feats that they have achieved, often in the face of adversity, are recognised and preserved for future generations. These stories, alongside the many untold stories of Aboriginal people in Victoria, are important for all Victorians to reflect on and build a genuine understanding of Aboriginal excellence and achievement. They show us where we have been and offer us a guide to where we should aspire to be in the future. I would like to thank the inductees for their, and, uh, sorry, thank the inductees, their families, their friends and their communities for taking the time to share their truly inspiring stories and being here with us tonight. Thanks to all those who nominated someone for induction. On your way home tonight, I encourage you all to start thinking about who you might nominate, nominate next year. And thank you to Shelley for being our MC this evening at this special event. We will now hear about the nine amazing honour roll inductees for 2022. Thank you all. Thank you, Parliamentary Secretary. We will announce the names of each inductee. She's done some of my jobs, so I've got to take some things out. <laughs> so we will, name, we will do the name of each inductee and ask that the inductee or their family representatives join them up here to receive their award. I would like to invite them to say a few words on the stage and a short biography of each inductee will be played as they make their way up to the front. They will be presented with a Melgar and a Tarnook, the women with a Tarnook and the men with a Melgar. And I'd like to talk about the artwork that you see here that we've had for the past few years that is, and I'll talk about the wonderful work that Mick Harding has done. It, it's a reflection of the, the beautiful artwork that is seen on the honour roll booklets. It shows a range of green leaves that represents the diversity of traditional owners throughout Victoria and the shields that float inside of them are representatives of the resilience of Aboriginal people who have been here for over a thousand generations. The concentrated line work represents the unique symbolism that is used by Aboriginal people to explain their connection to country here in Victoria. The wavy blue lines represent the ocean and the inland waters that surround and run through Victoria. The subtle arcs that run through the water bodies represent the importance of water and the relationship and responsibility Aboriginal people have to it. Before we start our inductions, please remind, I'd like to remind you that tonight's presentation contains images of deceased people. So we are going to start now. We would like to start with the um, inductees. Our first 
2020 inductee into the Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll is Auntie Elaine Taylor. I would like to... I'd like to ask Annie Elaine Taylor to join us up on stage to accept the induction. Auntie Elaine Taylor is a proud Wamba Wamba and Bunurong woman. She began her career supporting families through her work as an adoption worker with the Victorian Aboriginal Child Care Agency, or VACA as it's known. Auntie Elaine still works for VACA to this day and has been a tireless advocate for children and families over the decades. Her work has led to changes relating to Aboriginal children in Victoria's Adoption Act, 1984. In 2018, Auntie was a recipient of the Community Regional Award for VACA's inaugural Molly Dyer Awards for her extensive work supporting Aboriginal children, young people and families. Auntie Elaine is an inspiring role model to all with her outstanding work in child protection, education, the justice system and with families. Auntie Elaine Taylor is a proud web Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous, but uh, my children would say, yeah, Mum. Um, but um, uh, I'd like to congrat congratulate all, all the other uh, nominees. Uh, and also I'd like to thank my family here that have supported me and everything I've done through the years. Um, without them, um, and especially now, I have um, tunnel vision so, uh, and near blind, so, uh, but I'm still working. Um, so if um, I don't notice you from the side, please jump in front of me and say hello. <laughs> um, so um, I'm very honoured to receive this award. Um, and yeah, I don't know much more to say. Okay, thank you. So what we're going to do is we're going to invite the family up if you'd like to come up for a photograph now. We're going to do that with everybody. So, Annie, if you'd like to come back up, if your family would like to join you. <laughs> Good exercise. <laughs> Aren't my boys lovely and tall like their mother? <laughs>
take too long. I'd also like to thank my in-laws. Thank you for coming. I'd just like to thank um, my in-laws too, um, because um, they play a big role in supporting their partners. Thank you. As Annie Elaine makes her way down, can we please give her another round of applause? So the next 2022 inductee into the Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll is Patrice Mahoney, OAM. Please join us to the stage, Patrice. Patrice Renee Mahoney, OAM, is a proud Anawan Nations woman. Her connections to family and place reflect her multicultural connections from the Anawan Nation in New South Wales, Malta, France, Ireland and England. Patrice is a strong advocate for community and cultures who has lived on Bonnerong country in the Basque Coast region for the past 20 years. Here she promoted NAIDOC Week, National Reconciliation Week celebrations and Sorry Day commemorations and worked with local organisations to establish and implement their reconciliation action plans. Patrice is a very talented artist who has exhibited her work across Victoria for over 25 years. Patrice was awarded a Medal of the Order of Australia in 2020 for service to the Indigenous community of Victoria. totally unprepared. I would like to acknowledge I'm on traditional lands here today that are not mine and that I am a visitor to Victoria from Armidale or Urala, New South Wales. Um, I would like to thank, you know, my ancestors that brought me here today and like everybody else or most people in the room, we wouldn't be here if we didn't have those staunch people behind us or next to us or, or kicking us. <laughs> in my case sometimes and um, I would like to thank my five children for the grey hair <laughs> no. um, three of them are here tonight I like to um, make sure that you know that people understand that it is really hard to to work on off country and on other people's country and it's a, a fairly hard balance but you can do it and you can really achieve great things as long as you're inclusive and that's been sort of I guess how I get things done is make sure everyone's at the table and so thanks for everyone for being at the table here today and thanks for everyone coming this is pretty flash hey <laughs> that's real deadly I don't know if you say flash in Victoria but we say flash in New South Wales <laughs> We all look flash tonight too. But um, yeah, I just want to say thank you. And it's just amazing, um, like seeing people that you haven't seen for a couple of years because you haven't seen anyone for a couple of years is also really nice. And so thanks for everyone for dressing up flash.
Can we please give another round of applause to Patrice? So the next 2022 inductee into the Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll is Uncle Frank Langston. I would like to ask Uncle Frank to join us on stage, please. Uncle Francis Frank Luxton is a revered elder who is renowned for his strength and knowledge of culture and his unwavering faith in people to improve their lives. <laughs> After growing up on Framlingham Mission, Uncle Frank moved to Ballarat, where he has generously served his community since. He headed up Ballarat and District Aboriginal Cooperative's first maintenance team and trained Aboriginal young people in work skills. For over three decades, Uncle has supported Aboriginal men who have been engaged in the justice system to strive for a more positive future. Uncle Frank is an inspiration for all who know him. Sorry, but I got something to read you, but I can't because I forgot my reading glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I got my daughter Carly to read it. Okay. I acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we are meeting and pay our respects to elders, both past and present. I would also like to pay respects and acknowledge everyone here tonight. This award, this award is so unexpected. I'm really speechless. I feel so honoured. Thanks to Karen Heap and Badak for nominating me for this award. Love and thanks to my wife, Rhonda, my daughters, Kylie and Megan, son-in-law, Carrie, and granddaughters, Kylie, I'm sorry, Crystal and Maddie, who always support me. You mean the world. I also want to thank all the Aboriginal prisoners that I've worked with over many decades and still do as a volunteer. Our Aboriginal prisoners are in great need. Many are alone, separated from family and country. When they can connect to culture, they feel proud and can at last find their way. When they come out of prison, many Aboriginal ex-prisoners are lost and have no idea where to turn. If we can help them find a place to stay, how to manage their money and hopefully find a job, they can turn their lives around. Recently, I did a NAIDOC smoking ceremony at a Western Victorian prison. It was the first cultural ceremony the men had experienced since they were inside. It meant so much to them. I'm so honoured to receive this award. I really hope it will help me show how desperately our Aboriginal prisoners need help. Thank you. I got a, I was going to say, call the old girl up here, but she's just stood up. Please give Uncle Frank another round of applause. I would now like to invite Maddie Walker back to the stage to perform with us as main meals will be served. And please welcome Maddie back to the stage as she runs to her. <laughs>
going to start this next set off with my first single release. It's called Less Than A Man. Hope you enjoy. This next song's by the Dixie Chicks. It's Traveling Soldier. The song reminds me of my family. Yeah. Hope you enjoy. Two days past 18 
He was waiting for the bus and he's on me green sat down in a booth cafe that gave his order to a girl with a bow in her hair. He's a little shy, so she gave him a smile and he said, would you mind sitting down for a while and talking to me, feeling a little low. She said, I'm up in an hour and I know where we can go. So they went down and they sat on the pier. He said, I bet you got a boyfriend, but I don't care. I got no one to send a letter to. Would you mind if I send one back here to you? I cry, never gonna hold the hand of another guy. Too young for him, there's older, waiting for the love of a traveling soldier. I love him. Waiting for the soldier to come back again Never more to be alone When later said Soldiers coming home So the letters came from an army camp In California, then Vietnam And he told her of his heart it might be love and all the little things he was so scared of. Said when it's getting kind of rough over here, think of that day sitting down at the pier and I close my eyes, see a pretty smile. Don't you worry, but I won't be able to ride for a while. For him they told her, waiting for the love of a traveling soldier. Had love on never rounds, waiting for the soldier to come back again. Never more to be alone when a little said, soldiers coming on. On Friday night at a football game, the Lord's Prayer said on the anthem saying, A man said, folks, won't you bow your heads for the list of the local Vietnam Day? Crying all alone under the stands was a piccolo player in a marching band, a one named Red. Nobody really cared. But a pretty little girl with a bow in her head. I cry, never got older than of another guy. Too young for him, they told her, waiting for the love of a traveling soldier. Had love on never rains, waiting for the soldier to come back again. Never more to be alone when later said, soldiers come in. Too young for him, they told her, waiting for the love of a traveling soldier. Had love will never end, waiting for the soldier to come back again. Never more to be alone when little said, soldiers coming on. When little said, soldiers coming on. When my little red, my soldiers come in. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. This next song is one of my favorites. <laughs> This is Neon Moon by Brooks and Dunn. Hope you enjoy. When 
the sun goes down on my side of town that lonesome feeling comes to my toy in the whole wide world turns blue and there's a run down bar across the railroad track got a table for two way in the back where i sit alone i think i'm losing you i spend most every night beneath the light of a neon moon now if you lose your one and only there's always room here for the lonely to watch your broken dreams dancing and out of the beams of a neon moon i think you're two young lovers running wild and free i close my eyes and i sometimes see you in the shadows of that smoke-filled room No telling how many tears I've sat here and cried Or how many lives that I lied Telling my poor heart, oh He'll come back someday Oh, but I'll be alright As long as there's light from the neon moon now if you lose your one and only There's always room here for the lonely So watch your broken dreams dancing and out of the beams of a neon moon The jukebox plays on, drink by drink And the words to every sad song seem to say what I think And it's hurt inside of me It ain't never gonna end Oh, it'll be alright As long as there's light from the neon moon now if you lose your one and only There's always room here for the lonely To watch your broken dreams dancing and out of the beams of a neon moon To watch your broken dreams dancing and out of the beams of a neon moon To watch your broken dreams dance in and out of the beams of a neon moon. Thank you. This next song is by Casey Chambers. Um, this is Pony. It's one of my favourites of hers. I hope you enjoy.
Well, I grow up, I want a pony. I'm gonna ride it from dust till dawn. I'm gonna brush a mane, fade a sugar cane, and keep her in safe from the storm. If I had a pony, how wonder could I be a girl? When I grow up, I want a baby. I'm gonna name it after Elf Stanley. And I sure won't mind if it cries or not, just as long as it looks like a day. If I had a baby, how wonder could I be a girl? I grow up, I want a cowboy with dust all over his chains. With the horse named Jack and a ten gallon hat, he is nice, but he looks so mean. If you were a cowboy, how I wonder could I be your girl? Thank you. All right, this next one, if you know the words, feel free to sing along. He's got a smile that it seems to me reminds me of childhood memories where everything was fresh. It's a bright blue sky Now and then when I see his face He takes me away to that special place Or if I stay too long Probably break down and cry Ooh, sweet child of mine
eyes as if they thought the rain. I'd hate to look into those eyes and see an ounce of pain. His hair reminds me of a warm, safe place where, as a child, I'd hide and pray for the thunder and the rain to quietly pass me by. Thank you. <laughs>
Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Please don't take him, even though you can. can. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. Jolene, 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 no, 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 please don't take him, even though you can, yeah. Thank you. Hello everyone, I hope that you all enjoyed your main meal. We're going to get started again. I know some of you are still eating, but we will um, have to get started. I'd like to invite Parliamentary Sec... That's a tongue twister for this mouth tonight. Parliamentary Secretary for First Peoples back to the stage toward the next roll, round of inductees. Can we please make her feel welcome? So the next... 2022 inductee into the Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll is Eva Jo Edwards. I would like to ask Eva Jo to join us please up on stage. Eva Jo Edwards is a proud Bunwurrung, Bunurong, Mati Mati and Yorta Yorta woman. Over the past 35 years, Eva Jo has worked with Aboriginal communities to create a better future. In 2016, she was appointed as an elder to the Koori Courts, providing cultural advice to the Magistrates and Children's Court. She has supported many stolen generations survivors, their children and grandchildren through their journey of healing. Through education, storytelling and art, Eva Jo is teaching the next generation about the past and Aboriginal culture. Eva Jo is a committed and compassionate leader whose legacy can be seen in the stories of the many people she has inspired. <laughs> Such an absolute honour to be here this evening. You know, in one hand, for me, you know, there's, there's a um, sorry business happening. For those that don't know, Esther Kirby is my first cousin. And um, it's been pretty emotionally overwhelming. And then you look at, you know, the things that we do in life. We don't do them just for accolades. We do them because we believe and we're passionate and we hopefully want to make a change. You know, and to be, you know, to be honoured with some amazing people in this room. And I need to acknowledge Annie Lola James. Yeah. Because... Because oh, <laughs> she was one of the first people that I had met when I had come back to community. And um, as you 
may or may not know, I am a survivor of the Stolen Generations. And um, having met Annie Lola at VACA in, in Brunswick Street and connecting me and not realising till years later that she's actually in my family and that was quite extraordinary and really amazing and, and love her dearly and honour her, you know, throughout my journey. But I, you know, am, am a mother of six children that are extraordinary in their own, in their own right. You know, being a single mum raising these children wasn't always easy and they didn't always get what they wanted. But, you know, they have given me grandchildren that changes my life forever. But, you know, it's, it's part of life, you know. But um, my son flew in from Queensland last night, so that's really special. I've been... <laughs> <laughs> and we've all had our challenges and I, I am very, very honoured. I, I, I work for our survivors just to hopefully make a difference and help them with their healing and their journey and I've worked in so many different aspects of our community but it's, it's like I said earlier, it's not about accolades and it's... It's about what I believe in and the passion that drives me to make hopefully a difference in... It doesn't have to be everybody's lives, it just has to be one person. So, yeah, so to all you people in the room, I am very honoured to be honoured alongside of you. You know, it's... Um, I'm very blessed, but, you know, we're never promised tomorrow, so I guess we've got to make the most of what today is and... Um, it is what it is. So thank you very much and such a pleasure and such an honour. And if my family would like to come up and have a photo, I would really appreciate that. And that includes Muriel Bamble. We'll get one to <laughs> No, I'm not running in. <laughs> Smile. Can I come in? Jump in. Jump in. Oh. One thing, and I really apologise. Kathy Dean, um, who has been a really long life friend of mine, and if it wasn't for her in, in you know, um, putting in this application of acknowledging what I have done within our community, um, but I really need to acknowledge you, Annie Kathy, you're amazing. Thank you. Another round of applause, please, for Eva. <laughs> so the next 2022 inductee into the Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll is Auntie Marion Hansen.
unfortunately, Arnie Marion is unable to join us here this evening, so please join me in listening to a short recording of her biography. Auntie Marion Hansen is a strong Camilleroy woman, a highly regarded elder and champion of change. As an ATSIC Victorian commissioner, she represented Aboriginal people at the United Nations and addressed the UN on health, substance abuse and women's and human rights. In 2000, she was a signatory to the first Aboriginal justice agreement between Aboriginal communities and the Victorian government. Annie Marion has been awarded the Victorian Justice Award, 3CR Community Award, and the Frankston Mornington Peninsula NADOC Elders Award for her committed and tireless advocacy. Annie Marion has been a long-standing conduit between government, ACOs, and the local community to achieve the very best outcomes for her community. So we congratulate Arnie Marion on her induction. The next 2022 inductee into the Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll is Albert Pompey Austin. I would like, I would like to ask Troy Austin to join us on the stage to accept the award. Born on the 1st of January, 1846, Albert Austin, known as Pompey and Porn Yarriwari, was a Jabberung man. He was the first and only Aboriginal man to play senior Australian rules football in Victoria in the 19th century and one of the greatest all-rounders in Victoria. An icon in his community, his impact is felt from Victoria across to the Kimberley region of Western Australia. He was a skilled tracker, horseman, footballer, cricketer and athlete. He was also a boxer, racehorse owner and jockey, artist, explorer, entertainer and musician. His legacy lives on and he is deeply respected and remembered with affection. Uh, thank you uh, to the uh, State Government for the awards tonight and for honouring uh, Albert Pompey Austin and uh, also acknowledge the traditional owners and all the elders present in the room and all the award winners. Lots of uh, familiar faces and over the years we've definitely seen all the work that people have done. Just going to quickly uh, say something before Trace jumps on because obviously going back to the 1840s, there's been a lot of descendants and some of us are in the room here tonight. So uh, just think back and you, you think of 1840s, what it would have been like for an Aboriginal person um, in Australia but in this state and some of the struggles that we still have today. Imagine way back then. Yeah. Um, and just the one other thing I wanted to acknowledge was uh, Mr Hay. Because uh, for, for me and a lot of our family, we, we didn't know the, the history of uh, Pompey. So I think you made contact with Annie Janice and uh, that's part of the way that we've um, been able to... <laughs> ..been able to track uh, the work of uh, Pompey Austin and, uh, yeah, my son Tyson uh, actually d done this right up. But uh, if I can, just quickly hand over to Tracy and acknowledge all our cousins in the room, and, uh, and aunties. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, it's, it's an absolute honour to share the same bloodline with um, Pompey Austin. I think if you read about his story, it's an incredible story. Um, and, you know, it's really, really important to stand here and to honour and respect and remember uh, your ancestors, so, you know, my, my mum's um, a great-grandchild, the oldest living great-grandchild of Pompey Austin. Um, and, you know, when you have the same bloodline of absolute legends, um, my mum's um, the older sister of, 
Archie Roach. And so you can see that the talent actually dates back, uh, you know, years. And, um, you know, it's really, really important to acknowledge um, and respect and honour. And, you know, I thank the department and the state for allowing the opportunity for, um, you know, those ancestors and also our, you know, legends that have been honoured here tonight as well. It's an absolute, um, you know, pleasure to sit among people that ought to be recognised for the contribution that they've given to the community, uh, to their families and, um, you know, it, it really does mean something to, to know that what we fought for and what our ancestors have fought for, um, you know, to get us the things that we have today and I think that um, it's important to remember that we fight every day, um, you know, as Aboriginal people. Uh, we're fighting for true, true change in our community and we want that. It's well overdue and, you know, so I'm, I'm just really blessed to obviously um, see the induction of Pompey Austin and I hope that you will get to read his story if you don't know about it and you recognise how incredible he is among so many of the other inductees uh, tonight and previous years as well is really, really important. Um, so thank you very much. Um, and I'd like to, you know, I have all the Austin family here in that table, the loudest table, mind you. <laughs> yeah, and, and the roses. So... Um, it's beautiful to sit here with, with family, um, you know, and, and celebrate an occasion uh, like this. So, yeah, thank you very much. Only Dennis are going to come up. They won't get their photo. Nope, they're a bit shy, the, the Austin family, so. <laughs> The, the roses as well, it's a part of our bloodline. Yeah. Mel and Lionel. Yeah. Where are we going here? So just, just while they're coming up, one of the things that people may not know is yeah, so the fight in Gundi Jamara. So obviously Lionel Rose, world champion. Baby Cassius Austin, Commonwealth champion. Graham Brooks, Commonwealth champion. Harry Hayes, all from that same bloodline, yeah. For small community, uh, Gundi Jamara. So. Please give the oops, hang on, they rearranged some furniture. <laughs> Let's please give the Austin family a round of applause, please. <laughs> what an amazing group of people we have inducted so far. Can we please give them another round of applause collectively? <laughs> so, we are going to take a break now.
and we are going to have some yummy dessert served. I hope you've been enjoying the meals. They've been beautiful. We'll be back shortly to announce the final round of inductees, and I'd like to invite Maddie Walker back to the stage while you enjoy your desserts. Thank you. I'm going to start this last set off with a beautiful song by an artist by the name of Blake O'Connor. This is worth a little more. Hope you enjoy. Sing what does it mean in the end? Just a lot of late nights and some short time friends. But all that counts for nothing when I'm back home again. Watch my love. Let it all fall in And I may be wrong But in your eyes I can see Just the fairy tale Love and honesty And I know for sure That you're too good for me and I'll try my love, watch you fall faithfully. Cause you made me feel like I'm worth a little more. You make me forget all the pain I felt before. We've only just met, but it's something that I can't ignore. You make me feel like I'm worth a little more. I've never been stoned. Maybe this is how it feels. Cause I'm losing control and forgetting life is real Cause I'm hoping to him I've got the same appeal Cause it's only hard to keep my love concealed Cause you made me feel like I'm worth a little more You make me forget all the pain I felt before 
before We've only just met But it's something that I can't ignore You make me feel like I'm worth a little more Forget all the pain I felt before Cause we've only just met But it's something that I can't ignore You made me feel like I'm worth a little more You made me feel like I'm worth a little more you made me feel like I'm worth a little more. Thank you. This next song is my latest single release. This is called Vain. Hope you enjoy. Said you turn to stone if you don't watch your back. And I'm so alone at this bar again. So don't take me home, I don't need you, my friends. And you think it's easy to come back to me. I'm over the limit and I'm over our business And you think you're cool when you're down a shooter or two Take a look at yourself, I'm over you And don't try to reach me I ain't taking no calls My phone is on silent And I won't answer at all You're losing control Cause I cut all the ropes The reason I did this Cause you're making me you with her is and who think it's easy to come back to me I'm over the limit and I'm over our own business and who you think you're cool when you're down a shooter or two take a look at yourself I'm over you
When you think you're cool When you're down a shooter or two Take a look at yourself I'm over you This next one's by Chris Stapleton. It's Tennessee Whiskey. Hope you enjoy. Used to spend my nights in the back of a pop room Like I was the only love I had known But you rescued me from reaching for the bottom And brought me back from being too far gone you're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey You're as sweet as strawberry wine You're as warm as a glass of brandy Honey, I stay stoned on your love all the time And I look for love in all the same old places Found the bottom and the bottle's always dry But when you poured out your heart, I don't waste it Cause there's nothing Like your love To give me hope You're as smooth As Tennessee whiskey And you're as sweet As strawberry wine You're as warm Oh a brandy, honey, I stay stoned on your love all the time. Cause you're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey, Tennessee whiskey, Tennessee whiskey, and you're as smooth. This Tennessee whiskey. Thank you. <laughs> this next one's by Amy Winehouse. It's back to black. Hope you enjoy.
left no time to regrain Curtis Wayne with his same old shaping Me and my head high And my tears dry Get home without my guy you went back to what you uh, knew uh, So far removed from all that we went through No, no, and hydrate a trouble track My eyes are stanked, I go back to blame we only say goodbye with words I died a hundred times And you go back to her And I'm going back to I'm going back to us I love you much It's not enough you love blowing I love love life is like a pipe and I'm mid tiny pit me rolling up the walls inside We only say goodbye with words I died a hundred times and you go back to her and I go back to We only say goodbye with words I died a hundred times And you go back to her and I go back to next song is an original, it's called Pretty Little Lies, and I wrote this one about my anxiety that I used to get before I started performing. <laughs> I still get it sometimes. Hope you enjoy. Tell me pretty little lies You get on my nerves All this childish behavior Thought you would it learn And here you are again It's like you never left Said I wanna cut you off But you just seem to stick around instead Oh no, you're so cruel at 
the best of times But I seem to be your target guy You ain't for me Oh no, you know how to shoot me down Till I'm stuck there on the ground You weaken me Tell me pretty little lies You throw me around And I'm so sick and tired of the mean side of myself I wanna break that wall You keep building up But that's getting hard to do You're too destructive with your touch Oh no, you're so cruel at the best of times But I seem to be your target guy, you ain't for me Oh no, you know how to shoot me down Till I'm stuck there on the ground, you weaken me No, you know how to shoot me down Till I'm stuck there on the ground You weaken me You weaken me No, you weaken me Thank you This next one is by Sam Sparrow. This is Black and Gold. Hope you enjoy. If the fish swam out of the ocean and grew legs and started walking and the apes climbed down from the trees and grew tall and started talking and the stars fell out of the sky and my tears rolled into the ocean cause now I'm looking for a reason why you even set my world into motion if you're not really here, then the stars don't even matter. And now I'm filled to the top with fear, cause it's all just a bunch of matter. If you're not really there, yeah, I don't wanna be other, I wanna be next to you. Black and gold, black and gold, black and gold. Look up into the grey sky, you see a thousand eyes turn back And all around me, these golden beacons I, I see nothing but black I feel the weight of something beyond them I don't see what I can feel If vision is the only validation Then most of my life isn't real Cause if you're not really here Then the stars don't even matter And now I'm filled to the top with fear Cause it's all just a bunch of matter If you're not really there, yeah I don't wanna be other I wanna be next to you Black and gold, black and gold, black and gold I look up into the gray sky, see a thousand eyes turn back And all around me, these golden beacons, I, I see nothing but black I 
feel the weight of something beyond them. I don't see what they can feel. Vision is the only validation that most of my life isn't real. Cause if you're not really here, then the stars don't even matter. Cause now I'm filled to the top with fear. Cause it's all just a bunch of matter. If you're not really there, yeah, I don't wanna be other. I wanna be next to you. Black and gold, black and gold, black and gold. Cause if you're not really here, then I. I wanna be next to you Black and gold, black and gold, black and gold If we could please show our gratitude to Maddie Walker for the beautiful entertainment tonight. <laughs> Stunning voice. I look forward to what the future holds for this beautiful girl. So if we could all take our seats. We'd like to get through to the final um, announcements. That's you, Sue Ann Hunter. <laughs> I just like to tell you off because I can't tell you off other times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll just wait for everyone to get back. Beautiful. So I hope that you enjoyed your desserts. We're now going to move to the last stage of the evening and introduce the final three inductees for 2022. Okay, so let's get going. The next 2022 inductee shh, into the Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll is Uncle Graham Austin. I would like to ask Kobe Austin to join the stage to accept the induction on behalf of Uncle Graham Austin. Uncle Graham Wilk Austin is a proud Gundijamara man and grew up on the Framlingham mission. Uncle has dedicated his life to Aboriginal health and wellbeing and is an advocate for housing, justice services and his country. He was appointed as a Curry Court elder, working with many community members at risk or in prison. Passionate about sport, having held captaincy and coaching roles, he is a life member of the Fitzroy Stars Football and Netball Club. He was passionate and saw great value developing junior players, including at-risk children. Uncle Graham inspires us all with his dedicated commitment to his community. Uh, thank you. I wasn't prepared to say something, but this is... Um very special for Uncle Wilkie, um, and I'd like to pay my respects and acknowledge the traditional owners and people here from the government and Treaty and Yurok and uh, congratulate all the nominees uh, this evening. <clears throat> uh, it's a terrific job you uh, do and continue to do, and um, it's very important to uh, pay our respects and acknowledge what you have done over the years, and yeah, so thank you. Um, yeah, our beloved Uncle Wilkie, he couldn't attend um, tonight, he's um, battling a cruel illness of dementia and as well as um, the ongoing flood emergency um, on the Murray River where he lives at Cumra. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, we're so proud to be here and um, accept this award and, you know, his work that he's done over the years and um, his long service to the Victorian Aboriginal community, um, working at the health service in Fitzroy and... Um, <clears throat> stuff like that, as well as working and on the boards of the um, Aboriginal Housing and as well as um, Eastern Ma Aboriginal Corporation down Western Victoria. And his um, love of the Fitzroy Stars, um, going to watch them play every week. Um, so 
Yeah, thank you. Georgina's asked me to say a few words about Uncle Wilk. So, Uncle Wilk, um, in terms of change, he was instrumental, and I was talking to Terry Garwood about some of the things that he did, and he actually created the pathway for Raruna, for our people to go out and be buried in dignity. So, it was with him while he was in the leadership role as CEO. The other significant thing that he did um, for all the Aboriginal health workers and the Aboriginal health services around the country was he created the um, Aboriginal Health Worker Award. And that was a significant change um, and passage for the rights of equal pay and status um, amongst Aboriginal organisations. So there were a couple of things uh, that were of significance that had been missed from um, the work that he had done. He also um, was the CEO who designed and fought, I should say, with the state government at the time. Um, and it was a Labor government, I think, at the time too. Um, <laughs> and that was for the Nicholson Street building that you actually see today of the VRHS. And it was because it was the old exhibition high school and they wanted to use it for something else. And there was a bit of protesting going on from the residents about what should be built on that facility. But through the leadership of the board and Uncle Wilk, we now have the VRHS in 186 Nicholson Street in Fitzroy. And so I think when you look at Waruna, you look at the award wages, you look at the stuff he does with the stars, you look at the stuff that he's done um, throughout his life, it's an honourable award that um, he receives and um, we're really proud of him. So thank you. <laughs> A big round of applause, please, for Uncle Graham Austin. <laughs> the next 2022 inductee into the Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll is Colin Hood. I'd like to ask Judy Hood, his great-granddaughter, to join the stage and accept the induction, please. Named Marang at birth. Colin Hood was born circa 1836 near Hexham in Jabberong country. Working as a stockman for the Hood family, he was given their name and took the first name Colin. Moving to the Framlingham mission with his wife, he became a leader, a powerful advocate and spokesperson for his community. Having won a fight to save the mission, Colin has a proud legacy as one of the very first Aboriginal land rights activists in Victoria. His memory lives on in his family and he continues to be highly respected for his advocacy.
On behalf of Judy and her family, I'd like to thank uh, the award that's been taken. Colin Hood was an absolute icon. He was, I have him standing alongside Simon Wonga as the two greatest land right advocates in, a, in Victorian history. He undertook a public campaign to stop the Framlingham mission from being closed and then not being content with that, he moved to the other side of the state uh, to Gunai Territory and repeated the dose with the uh, Lake Tyres uh, mission. So there couldn't be a more fitting person to receive this award. Thank you. We're going to come back. We're going to have some fun. <laughs> Family wanted a photo. Can we please give Colin Hood and his family a round of applause? <laughs> the final inductee into the Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll for 2022 is Auntie Lola James. <laughs> I would like to ask Bindi... Bindi James, her daughter, to join us on stage to accept the induction. Was there a bio? <laughs> Named Marang up. Birth. Yeah. Colin Hood was born. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Nagatha, Bindi James, Yakamanja, Kamraganja, Yotiotawaka, Nina Gakiawa, Yambina Waka, Nina Galyan, Yambina, Yakarumja, Gamu Gaku Maka, Gamu Maku Itawakan, Nitu Wakan Dimlan, Wurundri Waka. A little bit nervous because these ones won't help. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Translated from Yorta Yorta to English, hi, my name's Bindi James, come from Kram Ganja, Yorta Yorta country. Uh, we come together on Aboriginal land. I thank, acknowledge and respect the Aboriginal elders whose lands we gather on today, which is Wurundjeri country. I also want to acknowledge any other elders in the room and the distinguished guest, too many of you to name, sorry. Um, I'm just not that good with names. <laughs> uh, 
I'm here with my sister Kayleen, the older one, Amanda, the younger sister, and my niece Sky. She's here representing her father, Alex, who entered the dream time just six months after our mum. Um, I'm going to catch my breath for a minute. Uh, mum's work life within the Victorian Aboriginal community consisted of working at the Victorian Aboriginal Health Service, Aborigines Advancement League, and for the longest period, the Victorian Aboriginal Child Care Agency. And um, with, with VACA, she started back in the 80s, and, you know, it was really tough work, you know. Like Eva Jo said, a lot of the stolen mob were coming back. Those stories weren't easy. Days were long. Travel was even longer. And the resources were so minimal. Um, you know, each day we didn't know what Mum's Day would consist of, whether it would be a trip to Portland, Warrnambool, sail, all within a day, you know, straight up, straight back, a whole day at court up there or whatever else they were doing um, because the resources were so minimal. Um, you know, they didn't have the privilege of TA or being able to book into a motel and stay the night. It was just real tough work. Physically and emotionally, you know, many nights mum wouldn't walk in the door until well after midnight. Midnight, A lot of the times it was with a little tribe in tow because she just couldn't bear to see these babies be placed in non-Aboriginal homes. So the best thing that she could do was bring them home with her. Um, throughout her lifetime at VACA, it's estimated that... Within our own home, she cared for about 200 children, and that's not exaggerated. <laughs> Still today, Kayleen and I, um, I don't know if Amanda does, but we get a lot of calls from people who are now, you know, maturing adults, wanting to find pieces of their life puzzle and put them back together and they'll often have these little memories of mum and they'll call us and try and ask us, oh, I remember this house, can you tell me about it and where we were and what we are doing? And, um, you know, that's just the confirmation of the work that mum done, that the impact she had on their life, that she was doing the right thing. Um, and for that, I'm so proud to call her my mum. Um, and, you know, Eva Jo's story about mum... I was doing good emotionally too, sis, before you come up and <laughs> started speaking, had me over there crying. Um, but, you know, they're just all confirmations of the work that Mum did um, for our boar eyes. Um, I think that was it. I, I, once again, I don't know if I did or not. I want to thank the Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll for Mum's induction. If she was here, she would humbly accept the award, but inside she'd be beaming with pride, and so she should. And thank you. And uh, we've saved a seat at our table just for her. Um, and Annie Elaine, congratulations on your induction. Eva Joe, to you too, but to everybody who was inducted tonight. Well done, very deserving, and thank you for doing what you do for our mob.
Which one? This one? We have another round of applause, please, for Arnie Lola, James, and her beautiful family. So, can everyone please join me in thanking the part? Parliamentarian Secretary for First Peoples and congratulating all of the inductees of the 2022 Victoria Aboriginal Honour Roll. I'm sure you'll agree their dedication to their communities and commitment to making a better place for all is inspiring. If we were not able to um, hear the biography, unfortunately, so um, we have a bit of a technical difficulty, so we do apologise for that. But we also weren't able to list all of the achievements tonight, so I encourage you to take the time to read their inspirational stories contained in the Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll commemorative booklet, which is on your table. The biographies are also available for each inductee on the First Peoples State Relations Victorian Government website, where you can find every inductee since the inaugural program year in 2011. Shh, I'm nearly done. Every inductee biography is also housed in the official Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll scroll. The updated scroll will be available at Parliament House shortly. Please follow the First Peoples State Relations Facebook page for updates on to the opening of the nominations for the 2023 Honour Roll. Thank you all for joining us. It's been a really special occasion and for either here in person or at home online. Have a wonderful evening and congratulations again to the nine outstanding Victorian Aboriginal Honour Roll inductees for 2022. <laughs> And enjoy. Thank you.